How's it going everybody and welcome to another Skyrim video. Now in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix Skyrim if it's running like crap. So if you have really low FPS, if you have micro stores, screens tearing, if the game in general is just running terrible. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that work for me. They might work for you, they might not work for you. What I mean by that is if you have an absolutely terrible PC, this will probably not work because why? Because you have a terrible PC. It's as simple as that. If you're running on 2 gigs of RAM with a bloody graphics card from 2001, you're probably not going to be able to run Skyrim. That's just the way it is. There's a reason we say what the minimum specs are, the recommended specs are for each game. Now, if you have a really good PC, or a mid to high end PC like I do, and for some reason you're, <laughs> you're just getting like 40 FPS and you're getting like stutters and tearing, then this will definitely help because, well, it fixed my game. So if it fixed mine, it should fix yours. That's usually how it works, right? So first step is, I'm going to make this real basic, okay, don't worry, the whole guide is not going to be this stupid, but I'm going to start off with the easiest thing humanly possible for games in general. Go to your control panel. I have a tab on my taskbar. If you cannot find your control panel, go to your search in Windows 10 and just type control panel. System and security, power options, make sure you have high performance on, okay? This means that your PC will not try and conserve energy when you're gaming, so it will constantly run at its maximum to increase performance of your PC. Now when you come in here you may not see high performance, it might say power plan or some, or eco mode or something here. Where it says show additional plans, click that and it will probably be in here where I have power saver. Enable it, exit off it, done. Next step, unlock your FPS in Skyrim. Why do you want to unlock your FPS in Skyrim? Well because Bethesda's original V-Sync that is coded into the game is absolutely horrendous. It's completely outdated and they did not update it when they brought out Skyrim Special Edition. So it's still using the same V-Sync properties from 2011. Actually, to be honest, it's using VSync properties from before then, but that's neither here nor there. Long story short, it doesn't work. So what you want to do is you want to go File Explorer. Now, my PC, I have all my games on my SSD in Steam. But in order to unlock your FPS, you actually will not go in here. You'll go to your documents, and you'll see a file that says My Games. You'll then go to Skyrim Special Edition. You'll see two files with a little cog and it will say configuration settings or INI files on the other. You want to open Skyrim and you want to open Skyrim perks. Okay, so we have Skyrim and we have Skyrim perks. You can see I'm just using Notepad. This is what you'll have. What you want to do is hit CTRL, Control, and F. It'll bring up a search bar. You can actually search in your Notepad. You don't need to download a program to search for things in INI files. I know, it's amazing, right? In the Skyrim section, the Skyrim section is blocked, right? It should be B lock. Is it? Yeah, it is. When you type in block, you'll see this. No, you won't, because I'm an idiot. You will not see this. You need to put this in here. So, you'll see general. As you scroll down, you'll see max depth. You'll hit, you'll go to the end, okay? The end. Hit enter. And then type exactly what I have highlighted. Lowercase b, so a small b, a capital L, lock, capital F, frame rate equals zero. Okay? Once you have that in there, you're going to hit file, you're going to hit save, and you're going to exit. Next is Skyrim perfs. In here is where you have your vSync setting. Again, just press control and F on your keyboard and type. And there it is there. So you can see it's highlighted for me at the bottom of my screen. By default, this will say VSync preset interval 1. We need to change it to 0, like I have on screen here. But that's what it will look like. You'll just go to the end, change it to 0, hit file, hit save, and exit. Now, you've unlocked your FPS. We are not adding Havoc Engine. Why? Because it gets messy. It's as simple as that, it just gets messy. And we don't like this, we like to simple. Now, after we 
unlock our FPS, we cannot play Skyrim like that because the game will go absolutely ballistic. Horses will start flying through the air, you'll run at 200 miles an hour, and the game will just be nuts. So you need to lock your FPS. It, essentially, you need to re-enable VSync, but not use VSync through the testing. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, so like a GTX 1060, 1050, whatever, RTX 2080, whatever GPU you have, you go down to this little arrow at the bottom and you'll see an NVIDIA logo. I know I have radio, but you'll see an NVIDIA logo. You'll right click that logo and you'll see GeForce Experience. You'll click in there on your screen, the G Sync Experience or whatever the fuck it's called, will come up and you'll see all your games. Click into Skyrim, click Details, and click Optimize. The game will now optimize using GeForce. What that does is two things. One, it will force VSync through NVIDIA. Number two, it will run a program that I don't know the name of, but basically what it does is it renders the game in a higher resolution than what you're playing on, and then dumbs it down to work. So basically what it does is it reduces screen tear and through your GPU. Your GPU or GeForce experience. That's what stops that from happening. All we've done here is we've bypassed Bethesda and we're using GeForce experience and Nvidia to look after how our game runs independently. For AMD users like me, we'll see Radeon software. We'll open Radeon software. Go to gaming. Go to Skyrim Special Edition. There it is. Scroll down. You'll see Radeon Chill. Enable that. Set your FPS as a minimum of like 58 or 55, whatever you want, with a max of like 62 to 65. Make sure your image sharpening is on to make it look better. And make sure you use Radeon Enhanced Sync. It reduces screen tear and lag. Okay? That's all you need to do. That's it. Done like it works it's that simple you don't need to go into your storage settings and change your custom gigs around like you don't need to do any of that it's it's skyrim it's not that heavy a game it's just that the Bethesda launcher is finicky and the inbuilt vsync doesn't work it's going to sound like complete bs but trust me when you do it it works for whatever reason i don't know i've heard people that have done this with really low NPCs where they were getting like 10 FPS and they've gone from 10 FPS up to like 28 or 35 FPS so they've gone from it being completely unplayable to it being reasonably playable it's a simple tip it's not rocket science it's a fast video I will put out a good video I'm working on a good graphics video to be honest because Skyrim's running amazing on this GPU to be, to be quite honest with you um, but this was just a quick one that I wanted to put out because I genuinely had problems with it. I googled like how to fix this and there was literally no information. And the information that I did try, don't waste your time with it. It it's, doesn't even make logical sense to try it. And I didn't try it because I know it doesn't make any sense to try half the stuff that's on the forums. But yeah, so I just went back to basics, unlocked the FPS, locked it through the GPU, made sure my power settings were on performance mode and made sure my RAM was, was running correctly. That's all I done. How will you know if your RAM was running correctly? Honestly, if you're playing any game, it's running correctly. That's the best way of describing it. You don't need to go into too much detail. If you do happen to have high speed RAM, like 3200 MHz RAM like me, obviously make sure that they're in the correct RAM slots. Go into your BIOS and go into memory controls and then change using if you're using like ASUS it'll be DOCP enable that profile and it will automatically set it to like 3000 megahertz or, or whatever the maximum of that motherboard can do but that's you know, that's just extra stuff but yeah power options and getting rid of Bethesda's VSync fixes stutter and micro stutters in Bethesda games like Skyrim or Fallout it's that simple if you enjoyed this video, or found it helpful, or if it worked, hit like. If everything went completely wrong, your PC went on fire and your game was unplayable, unplay hit dislike. If you have any other tips and tricks, leave them in the comments below. If you have any feedback, leave it in the comments below. Either way, enjoy your day, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.